Community Hotline is made possible with generous support by Gresham Ford, the dealer with a heart. The Contribute to the Community program provides the opportunity for the Gresham Ford team to make a positive impact, serving their customers and helping people across the community. And by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. Welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel. We're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're going to start out tonight talking about the Gresham Art Committee. And they have wonderful shows. It's free and it's, it's a great asset to the community. So here to talk about that with me tonight, I have Preston Boyd. You are the vice chair of the committee and a local artist. Yes, sir. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me. You're welcome. And Carolyn Wagler, you are an artist who is participating in this uh, particular uh, yes, I art am. show. Thank you for being here, Carolyn. So tell me, if you would, maybe Preston, you could start out. Tell me a little bit about um, what's the mission of the, of the art committee? Why was this formed? Well, if I may begin with giving some context, um, you know, art is a physical expression of the creative spark going all the way back to the origins of our species. Uh, we're the only creature on the planet who can recognize a representation of ourselves, you know, a few lines mm -hmm. and a circle. Um, we're born with this ability. We all have it. And uh, also, you know, art isn't trying to sell you anything. It doesn't want you to buy a new pair of shoes or a particular brand of detergent. On the contrary, it wants to give. It wants to share with you a mood, perhaps, um, a memory, or maybe even inspiration. And that you know, kind of once you wrap your mind around that, mm -hmm. kind of realize the significance and importance of art to humanity and, and its place in the human story. And so uh, the Gresham Art Committee, uh, thanks to funding from uh, Mayor Bemis and the city of Gresham and their very generous support, we are able to um, promote, encourage, uh, in some cases mentor, uh, aspiring, emerging, and established artists in a beautiful venue, and we are also able to connect the artists and the art with uh, our community and provide a, kind of a forum for um, uh, education about art and hopefully to inspire. Very well said. <laughs> Very well <laughs> said. The, the Gresham Art Committee has um, shows every quarter correct? Mm -hmm. yes, that correct. A, new, a new theme pretty much every quarter. Yes, yes. And you're right, it's a lovely venue. Mm -hmm. And the artists are for the most part local artists? Is local, that right? or, predominantly, or predominantly area, local, but yes, we do have uh, some regional artists right, that come out right. in the show. But it's still, it's still mm -hmm. pretty much people close, close yes. in the area. And some uh, from all ages, mm -hmm. all different types. Um, it's, it's amazing how much good art there is out there mm -hmm. and we'll get yes. to look at a few pictures in a little bit I've, I've been to a couple of the shows and it's it's really um you're right it it is inspiring and mm -hmm. it can be touching it can evoke memories it it, it does all of that mm -hmm. just with maybe a simple picture you yes. know it's it's well it's really um it's a universal uh language mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. transcends um you know dialects or any other music. form of communication. Music does that yes, too. exactly. Yeah. Well, music is a, yeah, is, 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 is a yeah. form of is art. art. I mean, I think, yeah. you know, back to our, you know, kind of the traditions that go all the way back um, painting, mm -hmm. uh, percussion, wind, um, sculpture, and performance and storytelling, these are all, you know, an integral part of the arts. So each right. one is a you know, right. distinct human expression. That's, uh, so, part of what makes us human, I guess, and what, yes. what 
brings us together too. I think it does. I think that's one of those uh, things that really <coughs> does bring people together, whether you have anything else in common or not. Yeah. Th this is a picture here that I believe is from this show, this this <laughs> show that just yes, started, right? That's beautiful. That's mine. Oh, that's yeah. yours. <laughs> oh, Carolyn, that's lovely. Now, is that watercolor? Yes. That, yes. Absolutely beautiful. And where where did you were you is there a particular spot that inspired you to paint this? <laughs> no. No, this is this is from this, your imagination or your your um, memories. Actually, I saw what somebody else did and I just changed all the elements and did it in your and, own style. Yeah. I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. So the theme for this particular show is uh, Four Seasons? Yes, that's yes right. okay. and that's my winter. I like that, I like that. Offering. Ooh, this is interesting. This that. is a uh, work by an artist named uh, Diane Freenan. If she's watching, I hope I got your name correct. Uh -huh. um, I find the, these ones particular are, are you know, actually probably my favorite in the show uh, by hers, because uh -huh. they're very, they're very uh, evocative and I like her combination of uh, abstraction and, and figuration. You really, yeah, is this one of hers as well? That is one of hers as well. Yeah, you yeah. really have to look wow. at it. You have to pay mm -hmm. attention mm -hmm. and... and mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, the figurative part of it kind of provides an anchor for the abstract. Uh -huh. Yeah, found, it does. I've found that sometimes uh, abstract work can be off-putting to some people. It can, because some. people don't know what they're, they think they yeah. are supposed to feel something or see mm -hmm. something that they can't. Right. Mm -hmm. but. That's a, this makes it, yeah, you're mm -hmm. right, an anchor, I, I get that. <laughs> now this is fun. I'm this guessing summer maybe. <laughs> summer of love, perhaps. This is by um, a, a member of the committee, uh, Leo Hartshorn. Okay, yes. Oh, that's, that's, that's fun, cute. that's fun. Yeah. As, 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 and as, that one too. It's kind of reminiscent of, um, I don't know, I haven't Peter seen Max back in the 70s or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen the show yet. So. Oh, yeah, oh well, you'll, you're in for a <laughs> Enjoy treat. Me. <laughs> you're in for a treat. This is fun stuff. Ooh, how beautiful. So the, the, there's um, fine art, there's photography. Yes. Okay. Yeah, two dimensional and three dimensional work. So, what yeah. other kinds of mediums would we expect? These are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one I believe is acrylic. That is something else. I love that. Wow. Paul, I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm, I think you were right. And oh, look at that. These are collage oh. inside of kind of little shadow boxes. Oh, I like that. But these are really such a variety. Mm -hmm. I, there's really yes. something kind of for everyone, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that's beautiful. This is a, um, a wood block uh, really? print. Oh, and my goodness. These multiple colors that you see mm -hmm. um, require a set, the carving of a separate block for each color. Wow. And then mm. to make the print, um, the artist has to perfectly index each block so, so, mm -hmm. so that it all, all fits you know, matches together. up. So it is a very uh, skilled um, technique. Yeah, I would guess so. Oh, that's that's pretty. mine. Oh, <laughs> you have another one. Oh, I love it. Should have been here for uh, last show when I had some dahlias here. You could have just, <laughs> done that. oh, that's gorgeous. And that's an oil painting there. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. Oh. And that's one by um, uh, another of our committee members, uh, Janet Lucking. That's kind of whimsical, isn't it? Yeah. That's kind of a surrealist. Yeah, kind of I like it. Touch to it. <coughs> oh, what fun! Great stuff. So this is just really a taste mm -hmm. of, of yeah. what. How many artists are in this show? Do you know? Mm, I believe we have um, like twenty, mid twenties. And uh, we have about 46 works. Wow, okay. So like you, you have two in the show. Four. Oh, you have four in the show. Oh, so people <laughs> yeah. want to see the other two, they're going to have to go, yeah. to, the, right. go to the show. <laughs> and you're an artist. I am, yeah. yes. And so what, what are, you, none of those were yours, were they? Were they? No, okay. no. Mine was a hummingbird. Uh, I have two hummingbird pieces and hummingbird. pastels. Oh, okay. So when I go to the show, I'll be yeah. able to look at that. So so for the people that, that don't know, the um, it's at the Gresham, what do you, what do you call the building? It's at, by, right by City it's, Hall. Yeah, it's yeah. the uh, Cross school, uh, Schools and Public Safety Building. Okay. And it's so the it's one that has kind of a water feature sculpture. Right, so when you drive in there, yeah. there's a City Hall right. on the left and then that mm -hmm. building on, on the right, uh, yes. a, a low one story, I think, building. Yes. Yeah. So um, the, the whole Four Seasons show will be going from uh, August 7th when it started mm -hmm. until 
uh, November 16th. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a long time. Right. Plenty of time for us to get there. Our reception's on uh, September uh, 12th. So tell me a little bit about the reception, September 12th, and that it usually starts when about 5.30 or 5 so? 5.30, okay. yes, that's correct. And so wh what can people expect at the artist's reception? Well, they can expect a lot of wonderful art, um, as you saw a little right, teaser right. there. And um, we ha we provide light refreshments. Um, it's you know, obviously really a good spread. And know. the artists are there. Yes. So yeah. you can actually meet the artists mm -hmm. who are, who painted or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, whatever their medium is and, and talk to them and find out something about the piece. Absolutely. And, and the artwork is for sale? It is yes. for sale. It is, it's all for sale. So, um, and I don't ever So if you want to take one home, you can. You or, can. Or, <laughs> you know. Or just enjoy it or there. Or you can just enjoy it there and remember. You know, mm -hmm. And then you can also look at our website, um, you know, to see a piece that you perhaps uh, responded to during the show. You know, that's, that's one of the things I like about that show is that you don't feel the pressure to buy. It's no. not like you go there and you enjoy it. It's like going to a gallery and, uh, gallery and enjoying the show. But if you want to buy it, you can. Yeah. And it's and they're usually within reach. You know, yeah. it, it depends on the piece. But yeah, um, yeah they're well, like I was saying earlier, you know, we're not really trying to sell you anything. That's not the point yeah. of it. Yeah. It's, you know, of course, we we love to sell you one, but right, we're not trying to sell any you right. know, sell you anything. Right, that's great. So, um, Carolyn, you. Obviously, you're an artist and, and you love art. Um, do you use art in other parts of your life? I, I remember correctly, I heard that you were a teacher. Is that right? What, uh -huh. what, what do you do? I teach pastel and I teach watercolor and they're, they're back to back, one day a week. Okay, and where do you do that? <laughs> At uh, Mount Scott Community Center. Okay. And it's with Portland Parks and Rec. Great, great. I, I took a, a pastel or a watercolor class once yeah. through Portland Parks um, quite a few years ago, but I loved it. It was really, it was really fun, and, mm -hmm. um, and occasionally I dabble a little bit, but not, <laughs> not good enough to put <laughs> in your show. But yours is a juried show, is that right? So, we, I mean, people um, submit their work. Yes, but then and there's then no fee to submit. No fee to submit, but only so many are chosen. You only have room for so many. Right, right. But they're... Um, from people of all ages, from mm -hmm. you know, mostly mm -hmm. um, local or regional. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's great. So, when you're teaching, mm -hmm. do you uh, what? What do people get out of of exploring that for themselves? I know, as artists, I know you. You probably everybody has their reason for being an artist, uh, besides the fact you have talent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when people are just checking it out uh, through a class, what what do they get out of that? Um, they learn some fundamentals, okay. mostly. I mean, I have several sayings, and if my students are watching, they'll probably laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but, this uh, before. <laughs> <laughs> I say the same thing over and over. Okay. To drive home some fundamentals. And uh, one of them is uh, the values make the painting. I mean, if you don't have enough darks and lights, uh -huh. you don't have a painting. And then I say color is the glory of the painting. Wow. And uh, then I have another saying, don't be afraid of the dark. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because uh, new artists are timid. Uh-huh. And, but I've worked with many beginning artists. And uh, in fact, in the, um, the last show, I had some students. Really? Yes, yeah. I did. I was real See, excited. And, and that's exciting to know that yeah. they can try something out and actually be in a show. I know yeah. one of our, um, one of our um, staff here uh, videotapes Mm -hmm. As a volunteer, he videotapes the show every every quarter, and we put it on TV, and, and, and I believe it's on the website so mm -hmm. people can watch previous shows. But one of his nieces ended up sh um, submitting some photography and got in the show, and she's nice. probably not even in high school yet, which, wow. you know, is great. Um, that I think that is sort of hopeful to people that are mm -hmm. new and emerging artists that, you know, yeah. there is a place where they can well, possibly I, show their work. I think it's very important to um, encourage, especially the upcoming generation. Um, mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. um, had several shows where we actually had kind of a sidebar showcase of uh, some high school some artists and so on. It's, you know, it's hard. I mean, yeah. and it's really hard to keep going. 
you know. To stay um, motivated and to stay um, sure because of there's, yourself. There, there's maybe? a lot of discouragement and, yeah. you know, not to mention, you know, self-doubt, which everybody has, but, right. yeah. you know, a lot of people, well, what, what else are you going to do with your life? And right. when are you going to set this aside? You know, this is at some point in every artist's life, I think, you hit that. People don't this take it a, seriously. It's kind of a resistance, a, yeah. yeah. Huh. And Interesting. So I think it's great to encourage them because it's so important for uh, community and um, uh, culture, society, uh, and humanity in general. It's just art is very important. It speaks to people. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with the things that Carolyn was saying about about oh, absolutely. the things she says in her yeah, classes? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I can't get a fight going here, huh? No, <laughs> no, no, I, can, I, I can't just disagree with, with anything she said. One, one thing I might add a little bit is that, you know, a lot of times people think that, you know, we're just good, some magical reason. Yeah. We're good. Oh. But no, there's craft to it. Right. There is, you know, long oh. years of practice, study. There you know, it it's, is. It, it just doesn't. It just, yeah. <laughs> you may yeah. have an innate talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But maybe, yeah. Or you may not. Yeah. You may have yeah. to just right. cultivate that. But, um, but it's not just a, you don't just get up every morning and whip off a masterpiece. No, is that no. it? <laughs> but I, I, I agree with uh, there's something that Picasso said that everyone is born an artist, but not everyone, you know, stays an artist. That's mm. the trick is to carry that with you into mm -hmm. adulthood. That's interesting uh, because you may not be an artist. I mean, everybody's an artist, but there are different ways to express yourself. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's Absolutely. why having all those different kinds of medium um, can help people to, you know, yeah. th I, I may not be that good at this, but I'm really good at this. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. You know, and a great way to express yourself. And I don't know, it just seems like it's a way to connect with people and um, yeah. I don't know, maybe even reduce stress or does it cause yeah. more? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, now you've shown, you've shown your work um, at a, a lot of different places, right? What, tell me a little bit about your, your history as an artist. Well, I actually got my start really um, with, as far as showing, mm -hmm. with uh, the Gresham Art Committee. Really? Yeah. And um, that so kind of, that <laughs> kind of ended up being kind of my springboard. And, um, you know, since then, I've shown locally, uh, regionally, and um, uh, I've had a couple of international shows wow. as well. And um, So this is a good, this is a good uh, stepping stone to a, to a lot more if people really want to pursue absolutely. it. Absolutely. I mean, it's all what you want to put into it, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, and we're all, everyone on the committee is completely available and willing to share. You know, there's no secrets, really. You know, any, anything we can do to help a, an aspiring or emerging artist. So you maybe you can do a little bit of mentoring if somebody asks you Absolutely. for a little bit of help. Give me a suggestion on how I can get started or, mm -hmm. or what classes I could take yeah. or that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's, that's really great I think one hear. of the biggest questions is how to price your art. That's, that's oh. the one that I've been asked the most. That would be very difficult because it's very to difficult. you it may be priceless. Yeah, exactly. To somebody else it may not be that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that, that would be very difficult. Hmm, interesting. I, I like the idea of um, the connection between the public viewing and the artist and mm -hmm. being able to make that connection actually talk. And do you ha have people come up and ask you about your paintings or, or ask you, you know, what was your inspiration for this or what were mm -hmm. you trying to say? Or uh, you hear other people ask that of the artist? Do they actually get into those kind of conversations? Yeah, uh, quite frequently, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. I just... Uh, I couldn't say, you know. Um, I'm always in the educational part. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, and I think some some pieces of art are probably self-explanatory. It doesn't require a lot, but yeah. there are some, especially ones that are that maybe are um, a little, you know, a little more. Um, I don't know, like the one we were looking at, the one that you said had that yeah, the anchor or figurative. Yeah. yeah. Sure, you know, it may bring up more questions like, well, this is kind of what I see. Is that what you were thinking of? And it, <laughs> and it really probably doesn't matter if that's what they were thinking of. It's whatever you get right. out of it. Right. No, yeah. it's about that connection, that relationship yeah. that the work has with, with the viewer. I mean, yeah. That's the important part, I think. Yeah. So um, what else do we need to know about, about the Gresham Art Committee? Are you ever looking for uh, new members for your committee? Yeah. Or Absolutely. Uh, we, uh, we would love to have any um, new members. Okay. Um, it's a pretty large committee, isn't it? Mm, right now, we, we've actually experienced some, something of a turnover, so okay. we're, there's only seven of us right okay. now. And so we'd you can like, probably we'd, use a few more yeah, people. We'd like to be at about 15. Okay, so. and do these people need to be artists? No. 
So. No, not, not a requirement, but a passion for the arts is. There you go. Well, that kind of <laughs> makes sense. Otherwise, why would they bother, so, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so the people on the committee will be um, the jurors to decide who's shows are they the ones that do that or what what are the yeah, at this point yeah. we are operating with yeah the whole committee um, helps make makes those the decisions yes. okay mm -hmm. and are there other requirements for i mean or other things duties that those people do if if i say wanted to be on that committee are there other things i'd be responsible for doing well um, you'd be responsible to um, attend the uh, monthly meetings mm -hmm. and also to you know, help hang a show, um, oh, okay. perhaps help curate a show. I mean, it's oh, largely okay. self-directed, okay. but yeah. you know, we, we definitely you know, need participation. Uh, well, somebody yeah. who's interested in art or somebody who is an artist, especially if they're starting out, that might be a really great place for them to get a feel for how all that works. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. That might be a good education right there. Yeah, and there <laughs> yeah. is a great exchange of, for, you know, for artists, yeah. if, if you happen to be an artist that joined the committee, there's a great exchange of uh, information um, uh, about other shows or you know oh, yeah yes. so I mean it's yeah. it would be, it's, it's, be very it's not all business right, right. You know. and it's fun it's <laughs> fun yeah. I, I've it is fun, yes. been to one of the meetings before and, and it was it was fun yeah that's great well thank you both of you for being on tonight so, so much for just to, to, you know, you're welcome and just to recap the show this time is four seasons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it started last uh, week which was August 7th it will mm -hmm. go through November 16th with the artist reception on September 12th. You'll both mm -hmm. be there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Okay. absolutely. I'm gonna try to be there myself. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. And um, check out the website if people mm -hmm. wanna find out more uh, or see past shows or uh, just find out how to get and involved themselves. And we also still have one show this year um, coming up that artists can submit to uh, oh, called okay. Light and Shadows, which mm -hmm. I'm oh. the lead curator on that one, so it'll be very Oh, excited. Light and Shadows, that yeah. should be interesting. That sounds good. So that information will be on the website as well. Yes, absolutely. Right, and that information it should be on the screen. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Carolyn. Thank, Thank you, Preston. You're welcome. Yeah. And thanks for watching this first segment of Community Hotline. We have one more coming up, so please don't go away. We'll be right back. Hotline is made possible with generous support by Gresham Ford, the dealer with a heart. The Contribute to the Community program provides the opportunity for the Gresham Ford team to make a positive impact, serving their customers and helping people across the community. And by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. I'm Harvest Mormon with Salt Academy. And I'm Mimi Badger with Salt Academy. And you're watching the channels of Metro East, where you can hear the community's voice.